Okay, so I picked up this uh, Ishihara book. It's the Ishihara Test for Color Deficiency. It's the 24-plate version. I should have gotten the 32-plate version, but this is what was available cheap at the time. But what I want to do is, since I am pretty badly color deficient, um, I want to run through this set of plates the way that I see them. And then I also have a preview of this video going on my screen off to my left here. And after I've looked at something on the plates, I'm going to look at the screen and tell you what I see there. The entire point of this is that there's an argument, well, not an argument to be made, but there's a great deal of complexity in how these things work and how your eyes perceive color and that a camera attempts to reconstruct or, or, or emulate what a normal person's color vision does. And so what gets displayed on my screen should look somewhat different to me than what I see here. Um, there are all sorts of ramifications for this, not the least of which is that you know color deficiency simulators that turn images into something that's supposed to look like what a color deficient person sees, they're garbage. Um, and other than they they may help you to um, they may help you to at least notice when you don't have enough contrast in color in your designs, they do not show you what a color def deficient person sees. Anyway, let's do a quick run through on this. Um, this is cold. I haven't done this yet. Uh, I have very natural light going. Uh, I've got a, a very cloudy, foggy day outside, so I've got good a uh, ambient light. Um, I may have to tilt this thing a little bit. There may be some glare because the window's up in front of me. Uh, anyway, let's get to this. Um, series plates, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at the first one. Um, the first plate is very obviously designed for anyone to see. It's high contrast in brightness as well as color. Uh, I would guess that the dots around the perimeter are gray. I, I see kind of an orange there, but I see a 12 there, and I suspect that anybody else looking at this plate would see a 12 as well. And when I look over at the screen, which I'm doing now, I'm also very clearly seeing a 12, though I'm trying to decide if I see it more intensely. I think I do see it just a little bit more strongly on the computer screen. Next, next panel. Uh, oh god. Um, I got nothing here. I'm, I'm looking at the plates. I'm not cheating. I've not looked at the screen yet. I see a little bit of something in here, maybe. I mean, just from where I'm seeing just the tiniest bit of contrast, maybe that's a three. See maybe a little bit of a slant. I, I, I couldn't tell you. If I had to take a stab in the dark, maybe that's a, a 10 or a 70, I don't know. When I look over at the screen, uh, I see a little bit more of something over in here. Um, and I see a little bit of more darkness here, but I, I'm, not, um, I'm not getting a lot of help. This this little band here does show up. I'm looking at the screen to be able to point at it because I, when I look down at the plate, I don't see anything here that I uh, I don't see anything here in the plate, but I do see it on the screen. I also see something maybe going here. I, I don't know what else. Here, there's something dark going on here and here. Uh, maybe a bit of contrast here. I can't I can't pick anything out here though either. Okay, back to the plates. Uh, uh, oh boy. Maybe a five. Also, maybe maybe that's a two. Um, I see I see this rounding here pretty well. Uh, oh God. Maybe a three. I don't know. If there's supposed to be some contrast there, maybe that could be an 8. Looking at the screen, um, like the intensity is a little better looking at the screen, but I'm still pretty dead. My impression on this, I I'm going to be a little more tempted to say that's a 2, and I'm going to be a little more tempted to say that's a 4. Five, but if it is, it's kind of weirdly shaped because the back is going a little more down the middle. Maybe that is a three. 
Oh, jeez. Why did I sign myself up for this? Okay. Um, this looks pretty clearly like a one. Mm, I mean, it looks like a serif on a seven there, but then I lose most of what I would say would be the back of the seven. Uh, no idea, really. Uh, I'm going to go with a 17 and maybe a 21. Except that looks like an awfully long line for a serif on a 1. Maybe that's a 24? Looking at the screen. Oh, wow. Uh, on the screen, that looks a lot more like a 15. And I don't get a lot of help. I really do see a little bit more of something right here. So I'm going to go with a 24 here with a little more confidence than I was saying a 4 here. I was expecting this to be a little more, a little more distinct. <laughs> wow. Um, like, this isn't just me trying to read it. I can't see anything going on in there at all. Like, neither one of these has the slightest hint of contrast. Not at all. Not even remotely. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, I mean, I still can't tell what I'm seeing on the screen, but it's pretty clear that there's something going on here. Maybe this is a 6, and that looks pretty strongly like a 4 to me. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but when I first glanced at it, kind of out of the corner of my eye, I saw a 45. Wow, that, oof, that is really weird. I'm looking back and forth, so now, like, looking at the screen now, wow. I mean, there's something there. I couldn't say clearly that that is a 4, but man, when I look back at the, at the plate, it's really weird. It just looks like it disappears. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, I hate this. Um, I, that looks like a diff This little spot looks like a different color than any of the rest of it. Like, I'm trying to find, well, is that the same color as that? I don't know. Oh, jeez. I got nothing over here, either. Oh, this is giving me a headache. Um, well, alright. Looking at the screen. Oh, it's really strange. If I'm not looking directly at it, I get a hint. I mean, I'm seeing that there's something in here. Like, if I'm looking here, I, I can kind of see something going on here. But as soon as I look at it, it kind of disappears. This one... jeez. Oh, Maybe there's something in here. It's the weirdest thing to see my own hand moving around, plus a little bit of lag. Oh, for crying out loud. A, a seven on the right. I, I just kind of see something right, right about here. And maybe there, but my god, when I look at it, there's nothing. So, uh, I don't really have anything. Ah, perfect thing to point with. Okay. So, this little guy here looks considerably darker on the screen. Well, does it look darker compared to that? Oh my god. Huh. Okay, first glance, absolutely nothing. And then really hunting through it. I got nothing. Oh, whoa, again. Alright, there's uh, maybe a one, a six. Um, I mean, like, I, I'm certainly not passing, you know, passing the Ishihara test on this plate, but the difference between looking at it with my eyes here and looking at it on the screen is drastic. I really can't, like, I really can't describe it. Um, I perceive it as a change in, in brightness along, along here.
right? Well, actually, this appears darker um, on the screen than it does to my eyes uh, looking at the plate. Yeah, there's you know there's also something going on here. I would I would really guess a 16 here, and I see something going on here, and then a little bit of again I'm gonna go with like maybe a 13 or like a lot of these are intended to mess you up because a four and a one look very similar, and so I'm sure I'm seeing a lot of ones in this for exactly that reason. Same with threes and eights. Um, and I'm sure they, they mess with the seven, the, the back on the seven, um, trying to make them look like the, 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 the slash through an eight. I, I still see very little here. Maybe, yeah, I, I don't know. Oy, oh, God, we're getting close. All right, whoa. Um, uh, first blush, I want to say that's a five. So, do, do, do. And again, here, I see another four. I'm, I'm looking at the plate. And like a, maybe a five right there. No idea. Oh god, this is brutal. Whoa, and holy crap. Okay, I'm now looking at the screen. And it's really weird. It's like I what the hell is that? I'm seeing kind of a a weird I don't know guys. <laughs> Wow. Oh, help me. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll stick with my 45 over here. I think that's what I said the first time. I mean, again, I see like this funny little corner here. And I see something that looks like the serif on a one, and maybe the serif at the bottom of a one or a four here. And then again, kind of curve through here. Whoa, it's hard to do that when I'm looking at the screen and I'm seeing lag. Oh man, all right. Oh, okay, wow, that's a two. Um, a two, and then I would assume since the two is left of center, that there's something else in here. Um, and then that's, oh wow, that's that's very clearly a four. I mean, not very clearly, I'm sure that they're screwing with me somehow. And then nothing on the right. I'm, I'm hosed there as well. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, looking at the screen, maybe that's a six? I mean, I see a little bit of contrast. These little guys along here and here are maybe a little little bit lighter. Like, this guy is really dark. Uh, God, I don't know. But I definitely see maybe a six there. And the four on the screen, I think, is a little more obvious. And then no idea. Maybe some Hitchhiker's fan did this, and this is 42. I, I almost do want to say a 2, because it maybe looks like there's a line under here, or maybe a little bit of a curve here, so maybe maybe that is 42. I hope the audio is picking this up, because I'm practically mumbling to myself. Okay, um, these plates, I think you're supposed to follow the follow the line from, from one to the other. This one's pretty clear to me, or from one X to the other. This one's pretty clear to me. I see this, <laughs> but I don't see a way back. I mean, the two X's are right here, so that suggests that there's a way to get back, right? Um, looking at the screen, oh, I should have done both plates first. Um, maybe something here. Uh, maybe something here. I, I don't see anything. Here, oh god. Oh. Um, or maybe see a little bit of something here. Those look like the same color, so I'm betting something like this. Maybe like that. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, with the lag, this is going to be fun. Well, uh, it doesn't show much better on the screen, if at all. Um, I don't really see how to get from the X to about here. I'm assuming it comes through here. But then, like this, uh, yeah. Okay, oh, so much for that. Oh, Jesus. I, 
I've got absolutely nothing. I mean, that plate has this really bright, this is either, this is either yellow or really bright orange or bright green. Um, if this were an LED, I'd also suspect red, but for some reason in print, red never looks that yellow to me. But it looks like the same, wow, I managed to turn it to the exact one that I wanted. It looks like the same color pattern as this one. Um, I, I had nothing on there either. Nothing. Oh, God. Um, I had nothing at all. Um, looking at the screen, oh, uh, maybe something through here? I don't know, but I also see maybe something up here. Uh, the one on the right, oh god, uh, whoa. nothing. I, I really don't see anything at all there. Oh, more of these. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that one looks pretty, pretty easy. So looking like that. Uh, and then this one. Mm, I mean, I see a little something right here. I think maybe it comes down here and then straight across. Uh, look at the screen. Uh, maybe a little bit of something right here. No idea. Goodbye. Oh, there's a one more plate there. Come on. There we go. And this one's another just simple gimme. I wonder if maybe the idea is that if you're trying to test a kid, that um, you just flip the book upside you know flip the book upside down and you start with this page, right? So it's like. You know, here's page one for a kid, and when you get to the actual numbers, you just, you know, if they can't read numbers, you, you quit there. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the same gimme as this, right? I mean, I would even guess they're the same colors. And so I'm going to guess the same thing for that and that. No, even I can... T t uh, yeah, I don't think that is the same color as either of those. But then again... They also have fewer of these line tracing plates. Anyway, so point being, um, <clears throat> once the camera has got uh, one of the, ha has turned a visual spectrum into RGB, what then gets displayed on a screen is a very different animal, and what I see in real life is very different from what I see on a screen. I did expect this to be more highly contrasted, but then again, my green acuity is complete and utter crap. It's, uh, um, to me, there is no such thing as bright green. There just isn't. Um, the only things that are green that, that I can say with confidence are green are dark, dark green. Things like grass. Uh, very, you know, like very lush grass. Anyway, don't know if I have anything else to say, but we'll call it good. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. By the way, if you are working on game design or depending upon what you're doing in UI design and you need somebody to help you out with your color contrast, please let me know. Um, I will, in most cases, work for free as long as you're not asking too much of my time. Um, anyway, take care.